So if you ever do any performing or music making as a solo musician, you are probably very familiar with the need for loopers. Now loopers are really cool for making music, and I think they are fantastic, but they are also a little tricky to get to use, especially when you're just starting. Line 6's Firehawk FX comes with a looper function in its pedal. Here's how you can use it to make your music by yourself. What is up, Yoshis? My name is Beth, and I run Steadfast Descent. Today we're going to be talking about using the looper on the Firehawk FX. Now, the bad news is, in order to do this, you have to download the Line 6 remote app for the Firehawk. I know, I'm sorry, I can't really find any other way to do it. But the nice thing is that once you have the app downloaded, it's really easy. You just load up whatever sound you're trying to loop, and then you apply the looper by tapping on it and assigning it to a foot switch. Now, once you've got that sound, make sure you save it to your Firehawk or at least to your tones so that you have access to it later. And then to use it, tap once to start recording, tap once when you're done recording. You can do that pretty much infinitely as far as I've experimented with. Um, I don't know what the limits are of being able to use or how many different loops that you can use on the Firehawk. Whatever number of loops you get, you may end up finding one that you're not super happy with. And so to clear out your loops, you tap twice really fast and you hold it. And the light underneath will go from green to white. Now when it's green, it means that it has a sound in it. When it's orange blinking, it means it's recording. And then you just tap and then it continues going on. Now the hardcore way that you can reset it is just by turning the entire foot switch off and turning it back on. Um, I've had to do that quite a few times because that whole double tap thing is so finicky and I would just end up recording like half a second of a loop of some, like, you know, my guitar being like, Ugh. not a good time. So this looper is a bit tricky to get to use, but once you get into it, you can make so much cool music. If you have the Firehawk FX and you didn't know it had a looper and you didn't get it because it had a looper, but you want to try playing with the looper, here's a couple tips for actually making good loops. When I make loops, I start playing my piece a measure through, and then on the top of the measure, I do my tap. And then I play usually two full measures through again so that even if I like messed up a little bit on the beginning or mess up a little bit at the ending, I have a full two measures or two bars of like looping material that I can play over afterwards. So then you're just playing and you just gotta time it right and that will take some practice but don't be discouraged because it is pretty simple to figure out. Now the fun part of course is that you can get multiple levels of looping. The Firehawk doesn't necessarily have a way for you to choose which level you're playing, you just kind of stack on infinitely, which is a bummer in terms of playing by yourself, but it's kind of cool in terms of being able to make music or record music with this looping function. The Firehawk FX does not store anything that you record on the board outside of when you play it, which is why you can turn it on and off again if you need to reset your loops. So if you want to keep something that you've recorded, make sure that you're using a DAW or even your phone just to record whatever you're playing so that you have a record of what you've made. And if you want to come back and like make it again as you come back to play with your loop, do that too. And that's just a little side note here. I want to shout out a band that I've seen do looping like incredibly well. The band Comrades has a song called Cliff Dwelling. And in that song, I like cannot even express to you how cool the loop that they do is. Yeah, links in the description and maybe I can throw a card up here so that you can go check it out, listen to the whole song because not only do they loop and then play over the loop, but then they reverse the loop in the second verse and it, oh my gosh, it's just so cool. You don't have to use a looper to just like create a whole song over four chords that you play through once. Like, no, there are so many options of cool things that you can do with a loop, with a loop pedal. If you haven't made a looping song yet, now is a great time since, you know, there's no better time like the present to make more music. And if you are just beginning to make the music, then there is always a good time to be able to continue to practice making the music. So have you made a looping song yet? Let us know if you have, let us know if you haven't, let us know what challenges you may have faced or if you have any extra questions. So with this information, I hope you should be able to go forth and make some music. If you want some inspiration on how to use loops in your music, feel free to check out last week's video. And if this one helps you, it helps me out if you leave it a like. And if you want to learn more about stuff like this, I'm recording as a solo musician, feel free to subscribe because there will be more like it coming in the future. And if you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching.